Welcome to the April 5th edition of Ricebird News. Thanks for joining us again today. I'd like to start with our COVID update. Last week, we had just one confirmed positive case throughout the entire district. For the entire month of March, there were four elementary and five secondary confirmed positive cases. Great work, El Campo. Make sure we continue with our hand washing, social distancing, our cohort grouping, continue to wear those masks, and the district will continue its cleaning protocol. So congratulations on a very good month of March for COVID. In announcements, we begin state testing this week, starting tomorrow, April 6th, and running through Thursday, April 8th, our English 1 end of course, our English 2 end of course, our star writing in the 7th and 4th grade will all be tested. These tests are important measures of your child's progress and growth this year. Please make sure your child gets a good night's rest, has a healthy breakfast, or you get them here early for school so we can provide them a healthy and nutritious breakfast. We know the teachers have got them prepared, so let's show the state what we know. This is National Library Week, so we'd like to uh, recognize our librarians. At the high school, we have Liam Morton. At the middle school, Tanya Burrow. Stacy Vesley at Northside. Stacy Williamson at Hutchins. Janelle Martial at Myatt. And we'd also like to recognize Taylor Schultz, who's Leah's assistant at the high school. Student recognitions this month, or this week, Taylor Watts entered the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Table Floral Competition, placing second and earning $750, and she placed fourth in the Silsby Tiger Cup Floral Contest. The Derby Dolls have their spring show. It's Be the Light. It's Thursday night at 6.30 at the Ricebird Gym. The Derby Dolls will be hosting a virtual Kendra Scott fundraiser, and it's also a giveaway. Please see the ECISD Facebook page for more details. Our boys and girls tracks teams had a great competition at Sealy last week. Our boys are district champions and our girls finished second. The girls had five first place finishes and the boys had six. Advancing to the regionals are Andres Torres, Hal Irwin, Hendrick Hundel, Reuben Owens, Charles Shorter, Carrie North, Paul Osorius, Decorius Ward, Reed Young, Colin Braden, and Isaiah Anderson. Lady Ricebirds advancing are Jackie Nichols, Kira North, Denisha Lloyd, Kiana Wells, Ibrasia Lindsay, Brianna Perez, Sierra Hernandez, Alexia Alcalias, Jaylee Cantu, and Kate Bowden. Congratulations on a great track season and continued luck at the regional meet. Our baseball plays at Van Vleck, Wharton, and Bay City this week, and our girls softball plays at Wharton on Friday. Good luck, Rice Birds and Lady Rice Birds. This is National Assistant Principals Week and we'd like to recognize all the assistant principals throughout the district. At the high school, we have Todd Fuchek, Moises Rodriguez, and Amy Araguz. At the middle school, Samantha Wortham, Emily Bush. At Northside, Rachel Bluhas. At Myatt, Deborah Sopak. And at Hutchins, we have Danny Young. And our special guest today, I'm gonna slide right on over, is our newest assistant principal, Leslie Appel. And Leslie, thanks for joining us here today and representing all the assistant principals throughout the district. Um, tell us what you enjoy most about your role as an assistant principal. I think the most enjoyable part for me so far has been getting to know and work with teachers, working with teachers, helping them grow and develop into masters of their craft is going to lead us to our primary goal, which is ensuring that our students come to school happy, healthy, 
and are successful in everything they do. I know in your most recent job, you were an assistant principal at a high school. So how do you view the role of an assistant principal at the high school versus that at an elementary? How has it changed? The kids want to hug me, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Um, but there, it, it is a different um, feeling. There is a lot more excitement at, on this campus. Um, they're, the kids just, they're excited to be there. They're happy to come to school every day. They love their teachers. They love their friends. And at Hutchins, all of the staff and the teachers are doing such a fantastic job. The culture and climate at the school is incredible. And I've just been so warmly welcomed that even after four weeks, it feels like I've been there for four years. Super, great to hear that. So can you relay to the Ricebird Nation your feelings and thoughts about being the newest Ricebird in town? I, I love it. Again, I've been so warmly welcomed on campuses within the district and in the community as well. Uh, we are getting involved in Little League and different things around town and to everyone, the entire community is really just so welcoming and I, I really love the feel of El Campo and I'm so happy to be here. Well, to give those out there in Ricebird Nation a good feel for you as a person, if you could choose one superpower as an assistant principal, what would it be and why? I think that I would possibly like to be able to read minds and this would allow me to be proactive in my thoughts and actions to make sure that everyone is on the right track to achieve our district goals. Well, Leslie, I'm not sure I'd like you to read my mind all the time, but just for today, you probably are getting some really good vibes. We're excited to have you here. And this is another broadcast of Ricebird Nation. Have a great week, and I hope everyone had a happy Easter. Thank you.